Hey, so this is a Super Zomagat Barbecue, and I am back with some more Ring Domination and the finale for my Ring Domination, because you've already seen The Undertaker, you've already seen Stone Cold Steve Austin, I'm now going to show you the end for Batista. We're also going to have some King of the Ring rewards, which I'm going to segue out, because I'll actually be, uh, I'm recording this on Sunday, and that'll be tomorrow, so I'll just um, edit the uh, rewards into this episode because I'm going to be busy tomorrow uh, and this is all going to be about keeping that short and sweet ready to go um, and I have had actually pretty interesting tell I've got two shards left on the Batista card uh, we have uh, I've loaded my deck down to legendary by putting uh, five commons uh, which are Kofi, Death Times 2, Bay, uh, Cody and RVD and I put in one fusion fully leveled and we then have a couple of uh, WrestleMania cards and a Silver Star John Cena. Do, 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 do. So we have our, the before we go into that, uh, I'm actually going to go through uh, something that was actually quite funny. Uh, the funny little sale. Um, I managed to pull this. Now you may have noticed this epic cane um, that I currently have one shard currently covering one of Batista's movies. Um, as you can see, um, the other one was un is uncovered. Now, actually, only it's just come off. And that's where Epic Bay came from. Now, if anyone's on the insider knowledge of all this, the Bay stuff, uh, basically, there was a girl that uh, one of the people in our streams, I won't say his name, etc., liked. Um, and we joked that she was the big red machine. And uh, then she got called. Uh, Kane got called Bay as a result. Uh, so. That's the reason why, if you ever hear me or see me play against someone um, who has Kane, or I use Kane, or I play against Kane in 2K15, 2K16, whatever happens, I'm always going to refer to it as Bay because it's something that's in our like, inner circle. Uh, so yeah, there was a girl that one of our guys in the stream liked, um, and because she hadn't met up with him and stuff, we thought it was a catfish. Uh, and we we joked that it was actually the big red machine because she could have been using her voice changer on Skype. So that's the story behind it. Uh, more details, you just speak to me on Twitter and I can tell you everything. Or just speak to the person involved if you know who it is. Uh, simply put, we got the cane pull, which was on uh, the Batista card. I'm going to get the last couple of picks now to get the epic card. And that actually means I only need one and I'll actually have another round of fusions pretty much covered off. So I'm going to start my game against Muhammad, and Muhammad is going to bring to the table a uh, survivor deck, which I'm going to hopefully go get. Oh my god, are you serious? Are they going to give me my last game? I'm going to have to go against the most unsurmountable odds. Ah, uh, dear me. Okay, fine. We'll put in John Cena. Hopefully he doesn't go against him. Um, let's put in Kofi. And I'll put in... Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam. Ooh, that could potentially could work. Because if uh, this person doesn't actually move there, I could actually get Rob Van Dam back. Uh, right. Okay, so let's see. Mm. Let's see if I can get Rob Van Dam back. This be power or toughness, otherwise I'm screwed. Power, so I am going to get Rob Van Dam back. Uh, if he then doesn't go after me, I could actually still win this, but I doubt it. Oh, actually, no, it's not going after me. So, uh, oh, wow, okay. Oh, wow, okay, this is um, this is difficult because if he then puts his um, a superstar card there, then I'm in severe trouble. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for... I, I can't risk it, so I'm going to put it here. And, ah, yeah, so it fell straight into my trap. He has nothing to put down as down arrow, so not, he's, the AI is not going to get to me. So I win 5-4, and I get the epic Batista card. Uh, which helps because I didn't put myself into uh, an epic or a lower king of the rings time. Or not because I'm going to get myself... Oh my god, that's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, so I probably should have checked that my cards were, were, were not the not ready. Uh, so here's another sig, right? And we're going to get the cards leveled up. And then we'll be back in a second, okay? God, that's and embarrassing. back and we have the last game, hopefully, that we can do. I still got two shards remaining, so that was slightly embarrassing. 
but we hopefully can get the win. And even if we don't get the win, it doesn't matter because we've got enough picks to go ahead. Once our waiting on network sign decides that it wants to disappear, we'll start with the last Batista card. So what was the furthest you got in your ring domination event? I mean, I'm going to be talking now. You're going to be listening to this on Monday. So where did you get to? Did you manage to get the Undertaker card? Did you not bother taking it apart at all? Uh, did you get uh, anywhere near the card you wanted to get to? Please leave a comment in the description below. Uh, as said, we will be having our uh, King of the Ring Awards coming up very shortly after this. Just a reminder for you all, the new login rewards are available. Uh, please make sure that you go after them because they are actually pretty good this month. They've got, um, they're not sure why Epic Hogan's going against my John Cena. Uh, <laughs> killed. Uh, so basically we've got Stone Cold Steve Austin as one of the login rewards, which is actually really interesting. Uh, again, not sure why Pound Charisma is going to win. Ugh. Apparently, this guy has got a death wish. Um, yeah, so we've got uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, you've got Legendary Randy Orton, and you've got Epic uh, Stephanie McMahon. Again, it's probably all fusion food, but there'll be a couple of people that they'll it'll actually genuinely help, which will be awesome, of course. So you're going to get rid our last game. We're not going to end it with a defeat, thankfully, because the computer just committed suicide against me. There to get the last couple of picks. So we get that pick, and that gives us a pick doubler, which is completely useless. And then we get the Epic Batista card. Congratulations, or you earned a reward. Thank you. And we get a rare briefcase for all our troubles. So that is the end of my ring domination. Let's quickly get the deck set up so we get our new deck in place, ready for the next event. Auto fill, and we now have our six Fusion Pros in there. I'm going to have to do something around <clears throat> leveling out the deck. Um, but the next ring domination, the end of the next ring domination, I'll have Undertaker in there. Maybe potentially have a Fusion Pro, it depends. I've only got uh, two male superstars left uh, that are unpro so it's a it's pretty big odds. Um, but either way, the chances are still okay. Um, so let's go change this over for Blassie. There we go, and Blassie is in. And I'll just I'll level up the others later on. <clears throat> so let's go to login rewards just to show you all. Uh, my King of the Rings going really well. I'm 25 and zero. Yada yada yada. And I'm hoping to go 51 and 0, but I don't. I doubt that's going to actually happen. Um, a new fusions on the go, which is my super rare fusion, and we have a, an ultra rare card actually to go straight into the chamber, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's go to the login bonus, which is you've got super rare Roman Reigns. Ultra Rare Triple H, Epic Stadium Man, and your legendary Randy Orton, and the Survivor Stone Cold, the card that I've never proed. Um, but hopefully, I'll be able to pro with a couple of rewards from King of the Ring because I just seem to be winning left, right, and center. Uh, also, at this point, uh, tomorrow you're going to be having all the PCC hype. Um, we spoke about it in the last in the video on Saturday, um, on Friday, sorry, about. Um, who do you think is going to be in the PCC? Uh, the end of this video is going to be very, very straightforward, but if you want to put your PCC thoughts in the section below, I'm also going to be mentioning in the next video about something new that I'm going to start trying for, uh, which is regards to a shout out and a questionnaire uh, Q&A section, which is going to be happening on every Wednesday. Uh, so pay attention to my Tuesday video. And we're back after a small segue with the King of the Ring Rewards. So this is actually on Monday. Previous video was actually recorded on Sunday for Ring Domination, and we actually have finished Ring Domination event. Now I'm going to move into the King of the Ring Rewards, um, and this is actually my first ever perfect sweep in WrestleMania tier. So that's 51 and 0, so not lost a single game. More luck than anything else, but V Seren, thank you for the victory at the end. Um, <clears throat> I think he just kind of laid down, he wasn't really. Uh, trying in this one. He didn't put any boosts on at all uh, in either game. So yeah, really appreciate it, man. Uh, we had some other people in here as well. I'll show you a couple of other people. El Guerrero, Locke, Boss, and Ginatro, who I don't know what he was doing. Otherwise, it was all bots. But still, uh, a perfect King of the Ring. A flawless King of the Ring is a flawless King of the Ring. Hopefully, we get some good rewards. If we're going to get anything, I'd like something that I've not had yet. Or, of course, a Roddy Piper would be amazing after what happened over the last couple of days. Uh, so it's going to be a WrestleMania and a um, Survivor card. And then, at that point, Siri tries to talk to me. Um, that's kind of reward. So we get, we get another Nikki Bada. I've had five of these cards. That's um, pretty awesome. 
but it's going to mean absolutely nothing for, to me. And another rock. That is the third Survivor rock in a row that I've got in a King of the Ring award. That is pretty rigged. So yeah, uh, that's my King of the Ring awards. Two, probably the best rewards you can get. The best diva in that tier. Um, well, in terms of overall stats anyway, and the overall spread of stats, uh, my opinion. And then you got Survivor Rock, which is the best card in the Survivor tier. So that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys, guys have an awesome afternoon and evening, wherever you are. And most importantly, Zoleave! So